You're looking at a touchwood red oak rough sawn panel after I've treated it with dark stain. As you can see, this treatment really brings out the authentic rustic texture of the panels and makes for a dramatic combination of color and dimension. Here's how I stained it. Just like I would any other wood panel, except of course I didn't sand it down. I guess you could a little, but I wanted to see just how the new touchwood responds to the stains that I normally use. It seems to soak up the stain pretty fast with all the extra surface area. You have to make sure of getting it in all of the nooks and crannies. You'll find that the seams between the flitches stay a little lighter than the wood, which kind of sets them off and gives them more of a natural rustic look. Then I wipe off the excess and let it dry. The second treatment was with paint. I used a red oak rough saw and used a two-stage technique. I put down a base layer of white paint and let that dry at least 30 minutes. Then I came back with a second color, darker in this case. I wanted to get the color down into the deeper parts of the texture. At this point, I let it sit for a moment, then wipe off the excess and keep an eye on how much I let remain. You develop a sense of how fast and hard to wipe the wood. At this point, you're looking for a consistent level of dark to light across the piece. By the way, you can be pretty creative with these touch wood panels. In this case, I be grooved along the seam lines, stained each plank in various ways, kind of a tongue and groove look. I encourage you to explore different techniques. With the touch wood panels, hey, the sky's the limit. My advice to you on these new touch wood rough sawn panels, is be comfortable with the finishing techniques you already use. They will apply quite well. Just remember, don't sand them down first, unless you want to. Visit the Touchwood website to order test samples so you can try for yourself.